So what we just solved, Ke, K over 2B, B squared plus A squared minus B squared minus A squared. And the right hand the right hand side vector would be I'm not gonna work it out in Mathematica, but just using the applying the same techniques and using the formula for the, the right hand side vector, that's what you'd get. Okay. So if we renumber so before we used one, two, three. So if we used 3, 1, 2, then we have side ve vector is identical. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. So can, can anybody recognize basically Given the node number, what what the difference is between the first matrix and the second? Keep in mind this one was numbered one, two, three. Yeah, I mean, if you notice, all the entries are the same, and if you were to just keep track of it, what you what you know everywhere. So if we basically everywhere that a node number was replaced or swapped then the rows and columns of the stif stiffness matrix were also swapped. Right? So if you, if you have the stiffness matrix for one node numbering scheme, without going through all the computations, you can come up with it for any other node numbering scheme by simply doing permutations of the rows and columns of the matrix. You know, for, for, so to get from here to here, we could swap one and three, right? So we'd swap the th first row and third row, first column, third column of the stiffness matrix, and then we'd follow that by swapping two and one, right? And then we'd do that permutation as well. So it's just an easier way to, you know, without having to, I don't know, maybe it's easier. If you have symbolic manipulation tools like Mathematica, it's <laughs> Maybe just as fast to just develop it, right? But that's another way to do it. So I'll just show you that. If you have a triangle, its node numbering is 1, two, three with side A and B, or 1, 2, 3, A and B, or One, three, two,
So any of these schemes corresponds to this stiffness matrix. And Any of these schemes correspond to the stiffness matrix.